Hi, Mart here, and I'm finally back with another video. And today I'm gonna finally talk about brushes in Krda. Because this is the question I'm getting asked a lot, I mean like a lot. It's most frequent question to me. You know, what brushes should I use in Krda? Because there's so many brushes and I don't know what to pick. So... I had kind of problems with making this video because my answer to this question is always when you're starting with a new software you should go through all the brushes and you know pick your pick the brushes you like and start working with them and if you like getting comfortable with them you find you know what you want to kind of change about them and change this and create your own custom brushes this should be the workflow of getting know the new software and new brushes but yeah, I get it, there is so many brushes in Krida, so it will be probably better to have some kind of starting point, you know, from the artist you know or you like. This video is to give you the starting point, the same starting point as I had when I started with Krida, and I was comfortable to work with these brushes, so I hope it will help you to get comfortable to work with these or figure out that these are not for you and you will find your own or I don't know adjust them to be better for you and to help you create some amazing artwork so uh, let's start with this so the first brush I'm I was using and I'm using till now like most of these brushes I'm still using is the ink ball pen it's the brush for sketching it's, it has kind of a little bit of texture to it and it's really cool. I'm doing all the sketching, all the line art in this one. The reason why I like this brush is because it has this awesome texture to it. So it's not perfect. And I really hate when some lines are way too perfect. When lines are way too perfect, for me it removes this possibility of getting some kind of, I don't know, accidents you know this happy little accidents how Bob Ross would say nice to use it's like a ballpoint pen I don't know the texture is pretty much the same so this is for the uh, line art and sketches and scribbles this another brush I'm using actually two brushes fill block and fill circle these brushes are made for more defined line art not made for but I'm using them this way for more defined line art. The main characteristic of these brushes is that they have a pressure size which means that the size of the brush is changing with the pressure you're applying to your tablet, you know, just a basic pressure size and the opacity of these brushes is always on 100% which is nice for creating nice and clean line art. The another thing if you're using like a patch tablet without screen I highly recommend you to use with this, these brushes uh, line stabilizers because I'm kinda having problem to get clean lines with these brushes so this is just a little advice for you and the another way how I'm using these brushes is for creating silhouettes because you know they have 100 opacity so you can create nice silhouette and work with the silhouette this is another part of my workflow when I'm creating some character or some painting, I'm sometimes I'm starting with silhouette to create some strong silhouette of the character or something, and then adding a line art on it, on the silhouette, and then creating this, I don't know, painting or whatever. And let's finally move to my painting brushes I'm using. The first one is Bristle Wet. Uh, this brush is kind of textured, but a little bit, and it's also a smudge brush. It works on a color smudge engine in Krita, which means that it blends the color for you. For example, if you put two colors in normal way, you would probably have to, you know, create a transition by uh, color picking and, you know, just cover those two colors and color pick and do the transition and color pick between them and do the transition and like this. With color smudge brushes, you don't have to do this. It's you only need the two colors you want to do the transition and then you just go through them and they will smudge to each other, mix them and create a transition very nicely, very quickly 
and it's really cool and it's this kind of effect is very similar to traditional painting for example oil paints so if you if you have roots in traditional painting this will be a really nice feeling to you and you will be very comfortable to painting with these and let's move to another brush which is bristle textured it's the same kind of brush i think it even same kind of uh, shape of the brush but this brush leaves nice texture after after your painting so usually what I'm doing is create a transition with bristle wet and then use bristle texture to add some texture to this transition in some part is better with texture in some part it's not so you have to kind of you know combine these two get the result you want and this is pretty much all for these two brushes and another really useful brush is Basic Mix Soft Brush. This brush is also color smudge brush, as the two before, but this one has really soft edges. It's like a airbrush in some way. Uh, and this brush is actually taking a really small amount of color you have picked and only mix the color under it to each other, blend them, you know, smudge them together. You can use this, for example, to blur out some places in your painting or you can use this for creating some more defined edges. The, you know, the bristle brushes I was talking about before, they leave on the edges this little bit texture because they are texture brushes, you know, so the edges will be always like not perfect. So you can take this brush and make it like really small size and go around the edge to create some really defined edge and it looks nice. Also, if your blending is not really good, you can use this brush as a help to blend the surface better. But be careful, if you overdo it with this brush, it will be really visible and you will end up with just smudge on your painting, which is not really good. And this brings us to the last brush I'm gonna talk about today. And this brush is called Airbrush Pressure. And it's classic airbrush with some pressure to it. So it's really soft transition on the airbrush. It, you can't really say where are the edges of the brush, which is super nice. And the way I'm using this brush is for all the effects or changing saturation or all the blending layers so if you want to do some overlay or, you know, some more saturation to some parts of your painting or more, you know, multiply some color over you or add some more contrast to your painting, I, you always, or I'm always using this airbrush because of the soft edges of the airbrush, because you can't see the transition between them, which can kind of hide your mistakes, for example when you're using the brush and kind of hides the uh, reality that you've actually used some kind of you know effect on it also you can use it for adding some glowing effects or bloom or stuff like this it's super useful so these are the brushes i was using when i started with Kruda. i'm still used using them till this day so i think they are pretty good for my workflow, not sure if it's gonna work with you, but hopefully. And yeah, this is the whole brush pack. And by the way, all of these brushes you can get just by installing the Krita. They are all the default brushes, you can find them. I will let the names of the brushes in the description below this video. So you can find them in Krita. Yeah, and that's all I wanted to say today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.